some new stories for you today. Second video for you. Firstly, PMRB SIAS meetings. Uh, in previous video, I uh, reported about unconfirmed reports regarding PMRB's travel to uh, Eritrea. Now we have received more information uh, regarding some meetings between Ethiopian PMRB and Eritrean ruler Isaias Ehwerki in March. More than once the two leaders met in March before the announcement of humanitarian truce by the government, Ethiopian government. Where did they meet? Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, uh, we have uh, a new story about a statement issued by Catholic uh, Epaki of Adagarat Tigray. The religious institution has released a statement about uh, Tigray, about the situation in Tigray. A thirdly, uh, uh, a new story from Somali region Oromia border. We have received some information uh, from this border area. Oromia regional government should uh, intervene uh, to solve the problem there. It's very urgent. And lastly, viewers, uh, Dr. Tedros, WHO head, is in the US. He has held uh, some key meetings. Though officially his visit is not linked to Tigray conflict, uh, but uh, he is accused of supporting TPLF and in some uh, some of his recent meetings could be of significance uh, regarding Tigray conflict. He has met with some uh, US lawmakers who have been very vocal against Ethiopian government. Uh, he met with uh, a person, a US uh, uh, lawmaker who traveled to Ethiopia as well last year. I think in March he travelled to Ethiopia. We will have a detailed look at Dr. Doss's engagements in the US. Firstly, viewers, uh, uh, PMRB, SIAS meetings. Now we have uh, uh, more information about these meetings. Uh, people would say, Sajid, you spread rumours. So, problem is that. Uh, Officially, uh, both leaders don't confirm their meetings. So we have to rely on sources and we cannot disclose the sources. They always say, Sajid, don't disclose our identity. It could uh, create problems uh, for us. So, and gradually we have learned which sources are credible, which are not credible. Yes, mistakes do happen. But mostly the people uh, who stay in touch with us, they are very reliable. And now we have received more information about PMRB Isaias meetings. In March last month, at least twice PMRB and Isaias met. Have you seen any official uh, statement from Eritrea or Ethiopia? No official announcements. But two meetings have been confirmed by our sources. Where did the meetings happen? In Eritrea. PMRB travelled to Eritrea. It's also interesting that uh, Asayas does not travel often to Ethiopia. Instead, PMRB travels to Eritrea. The two meetings uh, took place before the announcement of truce. Uh, when discussions were underway uh, for uh, announcement of truce. Before that, PMRB twice travelled to Eritrea. There some meetings were held between Isaias Averki, Eritrean ruler and uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, PMRB. Uh, obviously, uh, the two leaders can meet. Uh, no problem with that. Uh, the two are leaders of their countries. But when you don't disclose such meetings, when you don't uh, officially acknowledge the meetings, then it leads to rumours. People spread all types of rumours. Two meetings in March have been confirmed by some of our reliable sources. Uh, secondly, we are, so, a Catholic Epaki of Adegarat Tigray has released a statement about the ongoing crisis in Tigray. Uh, the institution is making three demands. Firstly, it says that genocidal war on Tigray was 
uh, launched and uh, all sections of uh, Tigray population they have suffered. Uh, the aid which has entered Tigray so far is not meaningful, it's not sufficient. It's demanding three actions. Firstly, it says that uh, there must be immediate, continuous, unfettered delivery of aid to Tigray. Secondly, it is demanding uh, the withdrawal of all forces from Tigray. And thirdly, it wants peaceful dialogue. Uh, resolve this crisis. The latter, this uh, statement uh, is addressing international community, African Union partners and other religious partners of this uh, Catholic Epochy Adegarat of Tegaray. Uh, thirdly viewers, we have a new story from Oromia Somali region border. We know that uh, parts of Somali region and Oromia both are in the grip of a drought. Aid is needed there. Uh, the new story is from Gucci Kabale. Gucci Kabale, Deed district, Dawa zone of Somali region. Gucci Kabale is right on Somali region Oromia border. And according to locals of the area, local Somalis of the Somali region, they say that yesterday a truck carrying aid tried to enter uh, Gucci, Somali region of Ethiopia, but it was stopped. Who stopped it? Oromia government forces, a militia backed by government forces, not OLA. A militia backed by government forces and uh, local officials of Romia government. They did not allow the truck to pass uh, uh, into uh, Gucci Kabale and the truck was diverted towards Moale. It was told to cross into Somali region from Moale. It was an A truck. Why was this A truck stop, stopped? Uh, we would like to, that uh, Romia regional government, its officials must intervene. Both regions are in need of aid uh, and in time of crisis, uh, uh, the rules can be relaxed a little if there are some problems in border areas. Uh, the rules can be relaxed a little because people are in dire need of aid. Why was that uh, the truck which was carrying aid, it was stopped? It wasn't allowed to enter Swan region from Romania. Uh, last viewers, Dr. Ted Ross, WHO head, is in the US these days. He is holding some key meetings there. Uh, though his engagements are not linked directly to Tigray conflict, but uh, he has met with some persons uh, who could have an impact uh, on the ongoing developments in Ethiopia. Yesterday, he held a meeting with Chris Coons. Who is Chris Coons? Chris Coons is uh, a close associate, uh, uh, a member of uh, Congress, uh, close associate of Joe Biden, uh, US President. If you remember, in March last year, Chris Coons traveled to Ethiopia with a special message of uh, President Joe Biden for Ethiopian PM Abiy. Uh, and uh, when this war started in November 2020, even then Chris Kuhn uh, tried to stop it. Uh, in November, he was in touch with PM Abiy. In several tweets, uh, he has confirmed that he tried to stop the war. Then we saw that uh, his visit could not deliver uh, and he uh, drafted some sanction bill as well against Ethiopia. He's been calling for withdrawal of uh, irritant forces from Tigray. He's been very vocal against Ethiopian government. He's been uh, urging the US government to impose sanctions on uh, the Ethiopian government. He's from Democratic Party. He's Democrat. Uh, Dr. Tedros held a meeting with him. And after that, Dr. Tedros uh, shared a tweet. A tweet reads that uh, the meeting focused on COVID-19, the humanitarian situation in Ukraine, and other global humanitarian crises. 
no mention of Tigray. Why is that? I mean, if uh, uh, Ukraine crisis came in a discussion, why not Tigray? Why is Dr. Tedros not mentioning Tigray in his tweet regarding his meeting with Chris Coons? This Dr. Tedros's visit could be uh, of significance uh, because we know that uh, truce is a little stalled. Uh, no aid is entering Tigray. Uh, sanction bills uh, are pending uh, with the House and Senate. This visit could bring about a change. Uh, Dr. Ross, though he does not uh, acknowledge his support for TPLF, for Tigray, uh, but we know that he's a Tigrayan, he's worked with TPLF government in the past as well. He'll try his best to mobilize US lawmakers in putting pressure upon the Ethiopian government. Thank you for watching.